Sikabudu miungu mingine Ilio fananishwa na yeyote Sitapiga magoti yangu ni sujudu Nitakusanya sadaka zangu ziwe manukato Kwa kwa yesu, kwa yesu Asta hili sifa Sitabudu miungu mingine Ilio fananishwa na yeyote Sitapiga magoti yangu ni sujidu Nitakusanya sadaka zangu ziwe manukato Kwa kwa yesu kwa Yesu astahili sifa Naleta sadaka za sifa kwako Bwana Heshima na mamlaka zipoke Mtakatifu mtakatifu na kuita mtakatifu o oh, Yesu wewe mtakatifu naleta sadaka za sifa kwa kwa Yesu oh, heshima na mamlaka zipoke Mtakatifu mtakatifu na kuita mtakatifu o oh, Yesu wewe mtakatifu Naleta sadaka za sifa kwako Bwana Heshima na mamlaka zipoke Takatifu mtakatifu na kuita mtakatifu O oh, Yesu wewe mtakatifu Amen Father in the name that is above every other name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you together with intercessors and warriors in this nation. And even those that are outside nation of Kenya, we are gathering in this place on this table of intercession. And I want to thank you for mercy. I want to thank you for faithfulness. I want to thank you because you are God and there is none like you. I want to appreciate you because when we call upon your name, you have been faithful to answer us and there is an evidence that we cannot say that you are not hearing us. I commit the President of the Nation of Kenya into your hands, Lord, this morning. And I want to thank you for his family Thank you for the Deputy President and his family. Thank you, Father, because also for the nation of Kenya, the government, the body of Christ, I gather them into your altar of revival and mercy this morning, this afternoon, and this evening. As we begin to pray, Father, we want to be vessels that you may be seen and your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. What a wonderful moment to gather at this platform of intercession. And I want to appreciate God for allowing us to be partakers of the benefits of intercession. The Lord spoke to me a few months ago, and this is what he has been telling me. Damaris, you are a vessel, and those that you are interceding with are vessels 
And I am the one that is fighting the battles of the nation of Kenya. I am fighting the beast. And what I want from you is obedience and following every instruction and the rest leave it to me. Amen. What a privilege that God is going to use us as vessels. Amen. Do you have my number? Are you saying, woman of God, I have been following you for a longer time and for a long time and for a few months. And there is something about you that is pushing me to partner with you. And this is the power of intercession for the nation of Kenya. I want to give you my, my pay bill number so that you can partner with Apostle Damaris and uh, so that I can continue pushing in prayer in this nation and many to get hold of this intercession and God is going to bless you. I want you to send me 1,000. I'm not asking for much, just 1,000 or 500 shillings. And this one will help me even to, to, to continue being in the broadcast. Amen. And this is my pay bill number 400. 222. My account number it is 173-9983 and then hash. Send your transaction to this number. Send your tithes. Send your offering and your covenant seed. Whatever seed you feel this is what you want to be a blessing to me with. This is my uh, my MPESA number 0746-553-997. And God is going to bless you. We are still praying for the nation of Kenya. And uh, the Holy Spirit, or rather Jesus Christ, was speaking to me through the help of the Holy Spirit. And he said that, Damaris, you are a vessel. And those that are praying with you are vessel. And this one has really reduced me, even thinking of uh, it's much prayer, you know, I'm just a vessel and I want to put it also to you that we are vessels and when a vessel is done, it is cleansed. Amen. So let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 20. We are vessels. Amen. And this one is going to help you really to understand that when God gives you an assignment, he cleanses you. He washes you, he puts it some, he puts you somewhere, and then another instruction comes. And there's something I want to correct. The problems we are finding in the nation of Kenya, it is not the president, it is the government. So even when you say that if President Ruto will look for you or Deputy President will look for you, it can never happen because it is not their mistakes. And we are here to pray. Those that are doing evil against you are the ones to look for you. And I think I've made it clear. I've dealt with the foundation of the president of the nation of Kenya. And I don't think that God is that un uh, unfair to allow the prayers we are praying on this altar to arrest or to destroy that which we are raising. Amen. Now, chapter 2. 2 Timothy chapter 2. And I owe nobody apology. It is the truth. Amen. Now, verses 20. The Bible says, <clears throat> But in a great house, a great house, there are not only vessels of gold <clears throat> and of silver, but also of wood and of the earth. In other words, in the house of God, in the area of intercession, we do not only have one kind of, uh, uh, of a cup, one kind of a cup with, it, with one kind of material. We have gold, we have silver, we have wood, and we have the earth, that is the clay. And, the, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore cleanse or uh, cleanse, himself from this, he shall be a vessel of honor, sanctified and fit for the master's use and prepared to every good work. Amen. Now, we are going to ask the Lord to sanctify us. Some of us are of gold according to the rank, the levels of lifting, 
the levels of spiritual knowledge, the levels of, of, of grace. Amen. And uh, I want us to ask God to forgive us. The Bible says in verses 22, free also you are, you are youth, uh, free also, youth are uh, also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Amen. We are made of different vessels. Some are of gold, some of, go of silver, others is wound, others is clay. I pray all of us, we have whatever God has made us out of. But I pray that you are not of wound because wound can catch fire and burn and just, you know, witchcraft is bad. Going to Illuminati Freemason. Illuminati are this young generation and loose and and. This is deep things. I want us to ask God to forgive us. Some of us are going to divination. Some of us, I will teach you about the hindrances that are hindering global revival in the nation of Kenya and other places. And I'm saying global. We are going to ask God to forgive us, sanctify us before I take you to where we are going in Jesus' name. My Father, I am asking you to purify us. Sanctify the intercessors and the warriors that are in this group. This page is a page of prayer. This page is a page, a page of intercession. Purify us. Sanctify us. Purify our foundation. Reba zoto lobo shana bade, lebe zuta leba shana patia, mara bata la bade, makata la bazete rebe, shara banta la besi paradua, reba zoto lobo shana bade, purify us, sanctify us, that we may serve you, raba zota la bade. Shantala besi paradia, maraba zete rebede, shantala besa paradua, kaila taipa shata besa lo, magade paleta la besa dabo, pare paleta le pare la besa rabia, sharabaza sanctify us, purify us, humble us, magade reduce us that you may be exalted. We are just vessels. You are lifted, Jesus. You are the one fighting the battles of the nation of Kenya because of the revival. You are using our voices. You are using us as human. You are using us to intercede. You are using us to fast. You are using us to give. You are using us to decree and declare. But the work is yours. And the team, the host of heaven, we give you praise, we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to go to Psalms chapter uh, 51. Remember, we are just vessels. So whatever God is doing, is nobody should take the glory. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Us, we are vessels. We, he's using us as the earthly team. You are team Damaris. Being in this page, you are Team Damaris. I'm the captain that I'm leading you to pray. We have the team in heaven. Jesus Christ is a big, big guy. You know, big God. I saw him filling the altar, dressed like a captain. If I dressed captain gowns. <laughs> and he has his team. Yes, he has his team. He has his team. I'll get there. I'll teach you there. So we have Team Jesus with the heavens, you know, the angels, the archangels, and in the lineage of, 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 of Michael, when it comes to war, when we get there. And we have this team, amen, on earth, amen. We are going to receive no glory, no. Of course, we'll be honored, but there is one that is going to receive all the glory, amen. Now, Isaiah 51 we are going to do number two today. We started with number one, asking for forgiveness. Today we are in another number, asking uh, the blood of Jesus to sanctify us. Amen. To purify us, to wash our spirit. Yes, the blood of Jesus to cleanse our spirits. Man 
is a human being. God is a spirit. Yes, put your finger there. The Bible says in John chapter 4 and verses 23 that God is a spirit. God is a spirit. We cannot see him and nobody will see him and live. In other words, you cannot just like Enoch. The Bible says in Genesis, Enoch, they walked, he walked with God until he disappeared. If it is Elijah, he walked with God until the whirlwind carried him home. But at the end, when the rapture comes, there will be three years and a half that Satan will take dominion. And the Bible says in Revelation, even in Zechariah, the Bible says that, and Enoch and Elijah will come back. They will taste death. Amen. They will taste death. Amen. They will be killed by the beast. They will test death. Amen. Now, when you go to John chapter 4, God is a spirit. When your eyes, your revelation, your, your eyes are opened, you can see Jesus. You can see the angels. The Holy Spirit comes in form of a dove. I think I've taught about that. The, these things is spirit. For you to serve a spirit, you must be in the spirit. For you to understand the things of the spirit, you have to be in the spirit. And this is where many of us are not getting it, that you have to be in the spirit. This is where we have one hindrance to breakthrough, and this is the priests or the, the, the prophets of doom. The prophets of doom work hand in hand with the divination. And divination is literally the spirit of a python. I'm not here to bring it here. And the spirit of a python or demonic eye will see as it is. Yes, because it is in the spirit realm. But, and this is where you see somebody will prophesy and you think it is God, but there is a spirit behind that person. But there are those ones who will prophesy, who will speak the mind of God, but the Holy Spirit is in charge. The Holy Spirit is before the person. And this is where the person prophesying will hide themselves. And glory comes to God. But the spirit of divination, the serpent hides behind the person. And the person is the one that is being seen. Why am I saying this? You have to be in the spirit for you to understand what is happening. We said number one, it is asking God for forgiveness. People that we have hurt, you know, things we have committed. But today we are looking at cleansing our spirits. And when your spirit is cleansed, then the communication between you and the Holy Spirit will be very accurate. You will have a clean communication. There will be no divination. Let me tell you and tell you good. 21 days of intercession, the Lord killed February 21st days. He killed divination in this nation. So divination will end. It has already ended in the spirit realm. Physically, we shall hear that divination is dead in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, verses 22, verses 23, But the hour comes, and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in the truth, not in divination, no, 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 not in divination, but in the spirit and in truth. And the Bible says, For the Father seeks such to worship him. We are praying for revival for God's sake. There is no way, even if you are hurt, you will speak a curse over the nation, my friend. Listen, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Be very careful when you are releasing a curse in the nation of Kenya, because when we are doing the watchman work, it may come back to you. Amen. So I, the Bible says, we are a spirit. Amen. Those that are wise, hear what I'm saying. Let's go to chapter 51, Psalms. The Bible says in verses 10, verses 9, Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. We started asking for forgiveness. Number 10, create in me a clean heart. O oh God and renew a right spirit within me. Create a clean heart, O Lord, 
and create a clean heart in me, O Lord. And the Bible says, and renew a right spirit, uh, a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Amen. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your free spirit. Look at this. Now, when we are asking the Holy Spirit to wipe away our sins, we are talking about something that we call mercy. We are asking God for mercy. I want to take you exactly to the place. We are asking God to ask for mercy. What cleanses us? It is the blood of Jesus. Now, the blood of Jesus and mercy go hand in hand. The blood of Jesus and mercy go hand in hand. Let me tell you some. Let me take you to the meaning of mercy. Mercy is compassion. Mercy is forgiveness. Yes, that is shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or to harm. When I say mercy, when I'm asking God, show us mercy and cleanse our spirit, it means two things are involved. The power of the blood of Jesus. And number two, this one I'll continue next time. The power of the blood of Jesus and mercy. And mercy is having compassion on somebody and forgiveness. And you show forgiveness towards the person. You want to show them, to give them a punishment, but you withdraw the punishment. Amen. Now, we have another word when it comes to, 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 to Latin word. And this is mercy is a price that is paid. In other words, you, there is a price that was paid for you to be shown mercy. For example, Jesus paid it on the cross. When you ask him for mercy, he remembers the blood of Jesus, the blood that is shed on the cross, and the blood starts flowing. And that is why we say, and we sing this song, it flows, it reaches to the highest mountain, and it flows to the lowest valley, the blood that gives me strength to face each new day. It will never lose its power. Amen. Mercy, compassion, forbearance. It is showing, especially when an offend, when there is an offense, you, of, you forgive the offender. Amen. When it comes to Christianity, mercy, it is God's mercy. And this one, it is when God will show you pity. You don't deserve my pity but I show you pity. Amen. It is compassion. Just as you are, come to me. You are filthy. You have committed abortion. You have killed. You have done everything. But when, and that is the strength of our, of our president. He may do everything bad, but when he comes back to the Lord, people will be left talking bad about this man. But compassion and mercy has come to him. And that is why we should never attack anybody just for granted. Amen. Now, I want us to look at something that I'm going to give to you. And this one is going to help you. Amen. And this is the power of the blood of Jesus. Mercy is a sister to the blood of Jesus on the cross. Cleansing our spirits. When your spirit is defiled by your foundation, yes, foundation is defied in our, our spirits. What is in our foundation? It comes and pollutes. It comes and defiles. Then we go back for mercy. Number two, you can be defiled by sin. Yes, and this is what has defiled many of us. Money is and it can defile it, especially if it is coming from the water kingdom. You take it, you lay it at the altar. That is why, pastors, we should be careful. Who is putting money on your altar? Yes, we have people that will give even 50 shillings or 10 shillings, not much, but the altar will be defiled. Sins like abortion, sins like fornication, sins like stealing, sins, anything that is sins, even gossip, it is defied in the altar. Glory be to God. Lies is defied in the altar. And when a man is defiled, the spirit of the enemy will find a door to come and attack. Amen. The blood of Jesus is going to forgive us. Amen. So 
the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. How does it work? Number one, we gain blood. We gain bold access to God in worship and in prayer. This one I'll just give you two because we don't have time. We gain bold access to God in worship and in prayer. How? Let's go to Colossians chapter 1. We have only five minutes. This one I'll continue with it if God allows me because we have to cleanse our spirits. Amen. Colossians, let's go to the book of Colossians and let us hear what the power of the word of God is speaking. Now, Colossians chapter 1 verses 21. The Bible says, And you are uh, you that we are sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now has he reconciled us. Amen. Chapter 2 verses 14. This is what the Bible says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. And having spared principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing them in it. Amen. We have four or five minutes, and I would want us to ask the Holy Spirit to cleanse us, to cleanse us. Jesus on the cross, he said, it is finished, and it was finished. Amen. It was finished. Mm -hmm. I think I should tell you this. Seven redemption benefits of the blood of Jesus, but I'll give you one. Now, the blood of Jesus is a covenant that can never be broken. First Corinthians. First Corinthians and chapter... First Corinthians chapter 6 and verses 17. The blood of Jesus is a covenant. Amen. I was doing deliverance yesterday and I was telling the Lord, this deliverance, you really have to work on it. And the lady that was being delivered, it, the demon had a claim and this is breaking her virginity when she was still a small child. And this one involves blood. And when I declared the blood of Jesus, it was nullified. Why? Because the blood of Jesus is a covenant. Amen. The Bible says, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, But he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit, covenant. He that is joined of the Lord is of one spirit. Amen. So benefit number one, I will not give you all, is one so that we pray. Jesus' blood speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Yes, Jesus' blood speaks better things. And this is where we find mercy. Let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews, and then we pray for those two minutes. Now, sometimes this, uh, this, uh, ty these uh, few minutes are a challenge, but God is faithful. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12 and verses 24. This is what the Bible says. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Abel. Go also Genesis chapter 4 and verses 10. Amen. My editor will put it there. Do you have Apostle Damaris number? Are you saying, woman of God, you are a blessing to me? And before you close the broadcast or the, uh, the moment of prayer, I want to covenant with you and I need you to give me the pay bill number. I need you a 1,000. I need 500 shillings. Imagine if you are supporting me well and I'm able to go to Citizen, to KTN, another station, how many people will pray together with Apostle Damaris? This is my pay bill number. 400222. My account number it is 173 Hash. Send your transaction and call me through this number. And this is 746 553 Amen. We are going to pray and ask the Lord Holy Spirit, cleanse my spirit. Cleanse the spirit of the nation of Kenya, the spirit of the government, the spirit of our pastors and the church in Jesus' name. Rapo Shatalabada. Magaterebo Shalabadia. Marebo Zatopro Zade. Blood of Jesus. Flow, flow into our churches. Flow into our altars. Flow. Kadaba Zata Bade. Lebra Zanta Beshi Paradia. Cleanse our altar, cleanse our spirit, cleanse our souls, cleanse our bodies, cleanse our organs, cleanse our foundation. Deliver us from any defilement. Deliver us from the pollution of our altars that have polluted us. 
every time we are going up, the powers in our foundation are polluting us and bringing us down. Reba Azoto Lobodong, Legete Prozanta Labeshi, flow, flow, the blood of Jesus, flow into the foundation of Kenya. I have already dealt to the foundation of this nation. I have dealt to the foundation of our president and the deputy president. My father flow, blood of Jesus flow, cleansing the church, cleansing our spirit, cleansing the spirit of the nation of Kenya, preparing for the revival. Reba, Zoto, Prozia, Kada, Brosha, Talabi, cleanse the spirit of my warriors, Cleanse the spirit of the intercessors that I am a captain in this page. Cleanse our foundation. Cleanse our foundation. Cleanse our footsteps from our foundation. Remove our footsteps from our foundation. Place us upon a high rock where there is no defilement that we may stand and intercede for the nation of Kenya. Bring the intercessors. Bring the warriors from their foundation that are defiled and place them to the place that you have lifted me that we may intercede for the nation of Kenya. Rema Zota Labada, Yika Koka Lakada, Hiva Laveso Vuza Liba Gande Bosha, Ia Opa La Teti Mahaya, Heve Verita Le Brozedi, Hendebi Zagadia. I assign my angels, I assign my angels. I assign them, I deploy them in this page to take control, to take control, to take dominion, to rabba zokalamade, kende biza gutala gahada. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I want to thank you for giving me your son Jesus Christ and making him to be my Lord and personal Savior and choosing me to be captain in this page and to be captain over their lives in the area of prayer and intercession. I am asking you to cleanse them from every defilement. The intercessors, the warriors, those that are following me, those that are subscribing into this channel, into this page, I'm asking you, Father, to sanctify their foundation. Take away their footsteps and their feet from the foundation that is defiled and put them to where you have put me so that we can pray for this nation without defilement. I am asking the angels in charge to take over, to do it and to follow this assignment and let your name be glorified. Bless their finances, bless their lives, bless their marriages, bless their children, bless their career, bless their occupation and bless their businesses and their ministries. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be exalted for sanctifying us and cleansing our spirits. It will start with us before it is spreads to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hand of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are your portion today. God bless you. Keep you strong and keep you in righteousness in Jesus' name. Amen.